Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to create this stylish and mesmerizing glass effect in Adobe After Effects. First let's start by creating a new composition called Glass Effect. Now I'm importing the video I want to add the glass effect to into the project. Then I'm creating another new composition and naming it Displacement Map. In this composition, I'll create a new solid. I'll go to the Effects and Presets tab and find the Gradient Ramp effect, then apply it to the solid layer. Next, we need to adjust the width of the solid, making it a thin strip. In the Gradient Ramp effect, we need to modify the end of ramp parameter like this. Back in the Effects and Presets tab, I'm looking for the Motion Tile effect and adding it to the solid layer. In the Motion Tile effect, we'll change the output width parameter to create multiple repetitions of the gradient. But don't crank up the value too much, or you might encounter rendering errors. I recommend setting it to 1300. Then, simply duplicate the solid layer and position it by moving it along the X axis. To do that, press P on your keyboard to access the position parameter. I repeat this process two more times. Afterward, I select all three copies of the solid layer, copy them, paste, and move them all in the opposite direction. The displacement map is ready. Now, let's go back to the original glass effect composition. Here, I'll add the displacement map below the video layer. Then, on the top layer, I'll create a new adjustment layer. After that, in the Effects and Presets tab, I'll find the displacement map and apply the effect to the adjustment layer. In the Effect panel, for the Displacement Map Layer parameter, I'll choose Displacement Map and Effects and Masks. For the use for horizontal displacement and use for vertical displacement parameters, I'll select Luminance. Then, I'll set max horizontal displacement to 51 and max vertical displacement to minus 7. You'll end up with a glass effect like this. Now, it's time to render. To do that, in the Composition tab, choose Pre-Render. You can also change the codec to H.264 if you like, but it's not mandatory. In the end, you should have a fantastic glass effect of your own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.